Hi everyone, Blake Jones here, and in this episode of How Do You Do That, I'm going to go over what things you need to keep in mind when you're going to be upgrading versions of Resolve. Now, for example, tomorrow, November 9th, Blackmagic Design is going to be unveiling a completely new version of Resolve. And this is going to be Resolve 17, which has an exciting new array of functions. And once you download this version, it's important to um, think about what things you need to do when you're going to be doing a large upgrade like this. Now, for example, if we look here in the uh, project manager, we've got our databases on the left side. Databases very often when you have a large upgrade, such as like going from 16 to 17, you may have to upgrade the database. But it's important to remember that if you decide, oh gee, I want to go back to version 16, you can't downgrade the database. So with that in mind, it's always a good idea to back up your database. And in order to do that, you just click on this little button here while selecting the database you want. And this will give you the backup function. And then it will ask you where you want to back it up to. And then the other button on the right is the restore button. So for example, let's say you go back to Resolve 16 and you want to recall that database, just uh, load 16 back in, click on the restore button, select the version the, of database you want, and then you can bring it back and you're all set to go. Tomorrow night, November 9th, will be the unveiling of Resolve 17. On the Blackmagic website, you'll be able to see all the new exciting features that will be in Resolve 17. I am also preparing on my How Do You Do That channel a whole new series of How Do You Do That tutorials that will be pertaining to Resolve 17. So this way you can learn about all the new tools that are available in Resolve 17. For more information about training services and for whether it's going to be online tutorials, classrooms, or uh, training videos, uh, have a look in the comments below. I've got a lot of new great things coming up. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.